The Walt Disney Company hopes to be the happy place where dreams come true. But even if Disney seems perfect on the outside, every company has a dark side if you dig a little deeper. 10 Secrets Disney Doesn't Want You To Know The Cats of Disneyland For a company that was all started by a mouse, it must have been ironic when mice began running around Disneyland. Sorry Mickey and Minnie, it was time for Disney to get rid of the rodent problem. The cats hanging inside Sleeping Beauty's castle seem to be perfectly ploy. There have been rare sightings of these cats since 1955 because the company doesn't let them out until everyone is gone and out of sight. The cats are then released to hunt all night long. Costume Characters Every Disney park performer has to start as a furry character, and wearing those costumes aren't fun. The average weight of most costumes are about 40 pounds, and the inside temperature can get really, really hot in the summer. Before 2001, these performers even dealt with dirty undergarment sharing due to Disney's lack of good laundry. Luckily, Cinderella, Mickey Mouse, and other characters are now allowed to have all the clean underwear they need. Song of the South we all might be familiar with the Disney song Zippity Doo Da, but not many people know about the tune's movie, Song of the South. Disney's decision to make the movie turned out to be very controversial due to some racial stereotypes. Even if the film has been reissued a few times, it has never been through a home release. That might be the reason why it's hard to find clips of the movie on YouTube. Underground City when visiting Disney World, you might be surprised when some cast characters seem to appear out of thin air. Walt Disney thought of that trick through his creation of the underground tunnels, known as Utilidors. These tunnels are actually the ground floor of Disney World. In these tunnels, you'll find a zoo of costume characters running around, and not to mention giant tubes that carry garbage through the parks instead of using traditional trucks. Yippee Invasion have you ever heard of the day Disney was invaded by yippies? In 1970, the happiest place on earth seemed to have a very large group of radicals with long hair known as the Youth International Party. The young activists tend to do dramatic political demonstrations, and they did exactly that by taking over Tom Sawyer Island. Even Disney couldn't prepare for this disaster because it's the first time in history the theme park closed early. Motherless Films Many fans theorize that the pattern of motherless Disney characters is connected with Walt Disney's tragic effects of his own mother's death. Walt's parents lived in a new house bought by him and he even sent studio guys to fix their furnace. The furnace eventually leaked, which caused his mother's death. While the timeline doesn't exactly match up with his first films, we could only imagine if Disney's guilt really influenced so many characters without any mothers. Abandoned Parks Apparently, Disney has left some water parks to rot for decades. Photographer Steph Lawless snuck inside River Country and abandoned Disney World Water Park to see what was left behind. The park looks deserted with vines and weeds growing between old lounging chairs and water slides. Beside the man-made lake is another deserted park called Discovery Island. Now we're wondering why Disney left the parks in decay unless they're planning to make a new horror film. Nazi Propaganda during World War II, the U.S. government wanted everyone ready to fight, including Hollywood. Walt Disney Company became involved in producing propaganda films to support the war effort. The short films range from Donald Duck's nightmare working in a Nazi Germany factory to a young German boy becoming a Nazi soldier. At the time, over 90% of the Disney employees were devoted to creating his pro-America war propaganda. Poor Snow White being the first Disney princess voice must have been legendary. Unfortunately for the Snow White voice actress, Adriana Castellotti, she was only paid $970 for her work, which would be worth almost $16,000 today. Walt Disney even had her under a strict contract and her particular voice could not be involved in any non-Disney work. Castellotti went on to perform in the opera instead, but she provided her voice for Snow White until her death in 1997. Sunflower the Centaur Here's a character that Disney wants to forget forever. The classic Fantasia Disney film seems to have a character missing in the Pastoral Symphony animated segment. Earlier versions of Fantasia show Sunflower as centaur with dark skin and a donkey's body, instead of a horse's one, working as a servant for the beautiful centaurs. The scenes with Sunflower were deemed racist, and Disney removed her scenes in 1969 to avoid any more controversy. Are there any more Disney facts that we missed? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco!